Okay, I have a confession to make. I like the ocean and the lakes and all the things you can do near them. But I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of getting wet. It involves towels and damp sand and rinsing off salt water. It's an exhausting rigmarole just for a little splashy, splashy time. But now, there's one innovation that lets you take to the water while you rise above it. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. When you're watching from the beach, surfing appears effortless. But the reality is, it takes balance and hours of practice to master rip curls like this. And the same goes for surfing's variants, wind surfing and kite surfing. But the man who actually invented kite surfing has developed a new way for you to glide across the water effortlessly. Jet foiler is actually a surfboard on top of an airplane that allows you to fly above the water about, you know, three feet. It's your personal flying carpet. I jetted my way to Alameda, California, near Oakland, to meet professional windsurfer turned water sport inventor Don Montague, who mashed up surfing and flying into something he calls jet foiling. All right, so this is one of the first prototypes. Ooh, the original jet foiler. Yeah. This one was evolved from a windsurfing board. We basically, you know, just carved out a box here, took a Pelican case, put all the brains and the motor controller and the battery inside <laughs> here. And the trick at that time was, you know, just finding where is all the right balance points. You know, where do you need to stand? The jet foiler is definitely a watercraft, but it uses the principles of aerodynamics as well. What is foiling? Yeah, for me, foiling is flying above the water. You know, the different projects we work on, they all have a hydrofoil underneath, which is basically an airplane. It's the underwater wing that lifts you and the board out of the water. The back wing is actually pulling down, which causes the front wing to go up. This is very similar in an airplane. There's enough flow over this to create lift where this wing lifts up. The wing itself is also profiled just like an airplane. So there's a round surface on the top and a concave surface on the bottom. Don's innovation is stunning enough, but it's even more impressive to know he overcame serious learning challenges to succeed. Being dyslexic was probably a huge advantage for me. I have an amazing ability to feel what's wrong. So I can actually solve things much quicker than someone else. And so I think like being dyslexic, you have these other skill sets. And then all you need to do is combine them with your friends who have their skill sets, and then you're a super powerful team. It only took a minute for Don to install the water-sealed battery, which powers the electric motor, and then launch from the dock. It's so quiet. It's like so peaceful. Don, can you hear me? Yeah, no problem. Wow. <laughs> it's easy to make something loud and heavy. The hard part is to make it be super quiet and be light enough to pick up. How are you turning so easily? Yeah, so I'm just leaning the board, just like in a, the idea of like a skateboard, you lean over and you can see me, I'm just pushing against the rail. The jet boiler reaches speeds up to 30 miles per hour, but Don says you can start to feel the flying sensation of a magic carpet ride at only 15 miles per hour. Don, I'd love to get out there and do it with you, but darn it, we're out of time.